In this lesson, we'll discuss medical applications of radioactivity. Question 1 reads, in the treatment of abdominal carcinoma, a person is treated with seeds of gold, 198, which is a beta emitter. Write the balanced nuclear equation for the beta decay of gold, 198. To write the nuclear equation, we'll begin with the elemental symbol for gold, which is AU, and we're told that the atomic mass of this isotope is 198. Gold happens to be the 79th element on the periodic table, so I'll write down 79 in the subscript position. Now, it's a beta emitter, which means that it will be releasing beta particles. A beta particle is represented as an electron with a mass of zero and a proton count of negative one. When a nucleus emits a beta particle, one of its neutrons changes into a proton. So expect the atomic number to increase. This suggests that the unknown symbol will have 80 protons and it will have 198 as its mass. You could have also solved this mathematically. What number minus one gives you 79 and it's 80? So the 80th element on the periodic table happens to be mercury. So I'll write down Hg plus this beta particle. In question two, in an experiment treatment, a person is given boron 10, which is taken up by malignant tumors. When bombarded with neutrons, boron 10 decays by emitting alpha particles that destroys the surrounding tumors. Write the balanced nuclear equation for the reaction for this experimental procedure. So we have boron and it's being bombarded. Boron happens to be the fifth element. It's being bombarded by neutrons. So I'll write down plus neutron has a mass of one, no protons obviously. And as a result, this breaks down into an alpha particle. You can write down alpha or you can write down helium. It's up to you. Helium has an atomic mass of four and two protons. Plus, now we need to find out the unknown element. We can do the math. We have five and zero. Add that up is five. Two plus has to be three. And remember, that's a lithium. Adding up 10 plus one, it's 11. Four plus what number gives you 11? It has to be seven. What you see right there is the balanced nuclear equation for this reaction. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and we'll gladly answer them. We'll see you soon.